What's up everyone? John Rentinger from Techno Buffalo here. I've been out of the office for the past week and a half hanging out with my wife and my new baby boy Nathan, but there are a few things that would get me back in the office and this right here is one of them. It is the Galaxy Note 3 for at and We took a look at the unlocked Galaxy Note 3 last week, but now we've got it all dolled up in carrier colors. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what comes in the box. So here we've got the box for the Galaxy Note 3. Sometimes the carriers will throw in a few extras, so we'll see if we get anything fun and surprising. Go ahead and open this guy up. We've got some AT&T quick start guides. And to refresh your memory, this is a 5.7 inch 1080 display. It's 1920 by 1080, giving it a PPI of 386. Push it off to the side for just a quick second. We've got the white version. Uh, AT&T is also getting the black version. And internationally, there is a pink version uh, as well, or maybe some carriers might get it. Looks like the folks at AT&T who sent us this took off the back sticker already. They probably threw in a SIM card. We'll peel this back. We've got Galaxy Note 3. We've got, I don't know what that is. That seems weird. We can figure that out. Uh, we've got a pretty gigantic uh, battery uh, of size 3.8 volt lithium ion. How many milliamp hours? 3,200 milliamp hours. And we've got just your regular wall wart charging and scene cable, nothing surprising. So the mystery of what these guys are are tips for the stylus. So that way you go with the S Pen, which lives right down here. I never would have guessed what that was, but looking at that tip, it all makes sense to me now. So let's go ahead and run through the specs here on the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, so Android 4.3 at launch, the Super AMOLED screen, three gigs of RAM, uh, storage 32 or 64, uh, with external storage options via micro SD, 13 megapixel camera on the back, 2 megapixel shooter on the front, 802.11 A, B, G, N, and AC, Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, it does have NFC on board. Uh, it does not ship with wireless charging, but I believe there'll be a wireless charging capable back. At least I don't think it ships with wireless charging. I really hope that it does. Uh, NFC, of course, is on board for Google Wallet. Anything else you want to do with your tappy? Uh, type stuff, uh, and it's going to weigh 168 grams. Let's go ahead and pop in the battery and see what the sucker looks like. Um, I should say though that there's a lot of questions about whether or not the back is actually leather. Uh, it's the same plastic back we've seen on other Samsung devices, but it's a little bit more textured. It does feel better um, in the hand, but it's still that same plastic. So love it or hate it, it's still here. Let's pop in the battery. All right, so we got this guy all booted up and ready to rock, and it looks very typical Samsung. Let's go ahead and go into apps, see what we've got here. A ton of AT&T add-ons, whatever carrier you get this on, I'm sure it'll have uh, similar offerings, AT&T code scanner, drive mobile, a locker, navigator, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, we got some games in there, uh, a lot of Samsung specific stuff. It does come with Polaris Office pre-installed, which is quite nice. Uh, and a ton of other uh, applications here, a lot of the S apps uh, that Samsung is known for. We'll go into settings real fast, we'll scroll down. Um, see what we've got here, screen mirroring, nearby devices, and S-Beam. If we go on over to general, we'll go down to about device, we can see it is Android 4.3. Let's go ahead and pull out this S-Pen, which now is reversible. You could, I know the jokes are gonna come, you could put it in both ways, this way or that way. Uh, and there's all kinds of other stuff. We covered it uh, when Ashley was in IFA, but you can do all kinds of other stuff with it. You've got Air Command, Scrapbooker, ScreenWrite, S-Finder, and Pen Window. Pen Window's kinda neat. So I'm not actually touching the screen when I do this, I should mention. I go to pen window and then I just hit that and I just draw a window on here. Uh, it's gonna pull up certain short and shortcuts for applications that I can select to put in there, which is kind of neat, although it probably wouldn't take me that long just to do that and find what I need. But hey, it's cool to get a draw on the screen with stuff. Anyway, this is the new S Pen. It certainly feels much, much, much better. And there's a button on there as well you can use to activate things and draw on it and all kinds of other sort of Samsung specific stuff. We'll talk about all of that in the full review. Uh, when I do my testing, I'll be using it in conjunction with this guy, the Galaxy Gear, since these two are best friends right now. This is really only useful uh, with the Note 3. Uh, the Note 2 is one of my favorite phones of last year, so I'm hoping the Note 3 is going to be the same way. Uh, but I'll put it through its full paces and let you guys know. But until then, let me know if you have any questions on things you want to see about the Galaxy Note 3. Please check us out at technobuffalo.com. I am John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. 
What's up everyone, John here. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, I certainly hope you did. Click on the subscribe button right under me in my pants region to get tons more tech videos from Techno Buffalo. We've got awesome unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of in the tech world right here on the channel. Join the herd today. If you wanna check out some more content, just click right over this way to see some other recent videos. See you guys next time.